torque is like a rotational force. And I don't want to go into too much detail. You can look at that stuff later. I want to show you how to use it. First, let me show you three ways that you can calculate the torque. So suppose I have some pivot point with a stick and, and I push with some force like that, F. And this is an angle theta and this is, um, we'll call that a distance R from the point of rotation where the, where the force is. So this is point O. So the torque about that point O, the first way would be to say F times R times sine theta, where theta is the angle between R and F. Okay. The next way is to take what's called, what I call the perpendicular force. I'll call this F perpendicular. It's the same as that part of the triangle, the side right there. So I could also say torque equals F perpendicular R. And you'll see here that F perpendicular is going to be the opposite side of that triangle, so it's going to be equal to F sine theta R. So the same thing. The last way to do this is to find R perpendicular. My picture is not best here, so I went over my same thing. But this is R perpendicular. And that angle is theta. So, torque would be F R perpendicular equals F R sine theta. So those are all the same things. You can do them any way you want. I mean, really, it's more complicated than this. Uh, torque is really a vector, but at this point, if you just, just do it like that, that's fine. Okay, now let's look at an example that you'll be doing in the lab. Let me see. Okay. Just check and make sure my video camera is still working. It crashes sometimes. So let's say I have a meter stick and I balance it at the middle. Over here I hang a hundred gram mass um, and this is let's say 0.4 meters from, the, from that point. And then I'm going to take uh, a spring scale right here and let's say this is 0.2 meters away. I'm going to pull with some force F and that angle is theta. And so the question is, um, if theta equals 30 degrees, how hard do I have to pull to make this meter stick stay uh, horizontal like that? Well, if the meter stick's in equilibrium, there are three things that have to be true. First, F net in the x direction is equal to zero. F net in the y direction is equal to zero and the torque about some point has to be equal to zero. So what point? Well, if it's not rotating about this point, it's not rotating about this point. There's, it's not rotating. So you can pick whatever point you want. Let me pick this point right here as my point O. And the reason I did that is because there are some forces that I don't want to know about. In particular, I don't want to know about the gravitational force on the meter stick. That's a force that it acts on the center of mass and it passes right through this rotation point, which means it has no torque. So it's not going to show up in this equation. Um, if I push down on the ruler at the top, which you have to do, um, it also is not going to apply any torque. So I'm not going to look at these two, I'm just going to look at, at the torque equation. So right away you see that in order to make since in order to make the total torque zero, this force is going to, have to pull up more than the weight of that one because it's closer. And so, in order when you do this, you're actually going to, have to push down on the top of the meter stick with your finger so that it doesn't fall off. Okay, you're actually going to, have to push that way a little bit too. So hold it right there when you're when you're pulling on it, and um, and that's going to make these things stay true. Okay, but. For the torque, if I have a torque that wants it to make it rotate that way, I'm going to call that a negative torque. If it wants to make it rotate that way, I'm going to call it positive. So this is going to create a positive torque, and that's a negative one, and they have to add up to zero. So first, the torque by this is going to be the force pulling down, which is mg, 
times that distance right there, they're perpendicular. So I'll say 0 0.1 kilograms times 9.8 newtons per kilogram times 0.4 meters minus, now I have the torque from that is going to be that force F, which I don't know. Now I can do this several ways. I could, I could do the perpendicular force, which is that, which is F sine theta. So I'll say sine of 30. And then I have to multiply by that R, which is 0.2 meters. And so now I just want to solve for F. So I'm going to add this to both sides of the equation. So on this side it cancels and I get, um, let, me, let me just multiply that out. I can do that. Point, point 0.1 times 9.8 is 0.98 newtons times 0.4 meters equals F sine of 30 times 0.2 meters. And then I'll divide both sides by sine 30 times 0.2 meters. And that cancels. And I get F equals 0.98 newtons, 0.4 meters, sine 30, 0.2 meters. The meters cancel. This has no units. We get units of, uh, of newtons. And let me just put that in my calculator real quick. I could do it my partially in my head, but I don't want to make a mistake. So let's see. It's 0.98 times 0.4 divided by sine of 30 degrees times 0.2. And I get 3.92 newtons. So here you see um, this is 0.98 newtons down. I have to pull with 3.92 newtons up in that direction. So it's going to have a net force up and a net force this way. So that's why you need your finger there to keep this meter stick stationary. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to stop the video and I hope it didn't crash.